yo what is going on you guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'm gonna go over what i think is the best low funded bossing mules you can possibly make in reboot these bossing mules are going to be ranked based on their cooldowns nodes funding burst and node slots so right off the bat i think that bowmaster is probably one of the best low funded bossing mules that you can possibly have the reason for that is the nodes are extremely easy to get the trios are super easy you could technically get away with having only one set of trios and then in terms of skill nodes all you really need is quiver barrage storm of arrows vicious shot and inhumane speed once you have those four v skills you're pretty much good to go you can start bossing another reason why this class is extremely good as a boss mule is because the cooldowns are extremely short and also the burst technically lasts anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 seconds you're pretty much on burst half the time you're playing this class which is what you want for a boss you don't want to wait four minutes in between bosses you want to be able to be bursting as frequently as possible and i think with bowmaster this class provides exactly that also another reason why this class is a good boss meal is because you don't need decent speed infusion you get built-in sharp eyes the survivability is top tier you'll just never die with this class the training for bowmaster i wouldn't say it's the best it's definitely not bad now that all the archers got a built-in teleport it makes pretty much any map viable moving on to another class class i think is extremely good for a boss mule is shadower now again all of these top tier boss mules have the same thing in common they all have low cooldowns high damage output and they don't require a lot of nodes so again for shadower you can get away with just one trio obviously you want sonic blow trick blade slash shadow formation and last resort you can get away with just having these four but again you want to have shadow assault you can get away with just these four nodes but i would try to get it to 220 i would try to get all your boss mules to 220 just so you can have a little bit more extra damage with the other v skills and once again this class doesn't need anything crazy with the inner ability you can get away with pretty much anything i have boss damage i got pretty lucky but you don't need plus one attack speed on this class which is always a plus when thinking about boss moves you don't want to have to spend extra when you don't have to because at the end of the day these boss moves are supposed to make you money you don't want to have to put a lot of money into a boss meal if at the end of the day all you wanted to do is make you money which again all of these boss meals will have in common they're super low funding they can get away with having minimal funding and they can still do a ton of damage and do bosses extremely quick sonic glow has a 45 second cooldown along with trick blade which has a 14 second cooldown it just makes bossing so satisfying when you can just go in use sonic blow use trick blade and you're pretty much out so one thing that people always ask when i talk about shadow or bossing mules they say isn't miso weaving like really hard to do isn't it difficult it used to be harder to time but now you can honestly just spam the two together all i do when i'm bossing on this is i literally just spam assassinate and spam miso explosion i don't even time all i'm doing is spamming the two together also this is a dark side class so it makes bosses like lotus extremely easy also assassinate is a super stance which is something that's huge another good thing about shadower is that it has a lot of built-in crit rate which is something that you always want with the bossing meal you don't have to worry about decent sharp eyes you don't have to worry about getting crit rate on your ia it's just something huge it's something that people don't really think about when making bossing meals but it's super super important shadower also comes with a lot of ied built into the attacks once again is huge for a bossing meal you don't want to have to invest in a lot of ied you want your skills to have built-in ied and shadower is definitely one of those classes that have a ton of built-in id this might honestly be the best bossing meal if you fund it just to mid tier but again low tier funding like this thing still can do all of the bosses that you need for a bossing mule and a weekly bosser highly recommend if you guys haven't played this class it's really fun as well like the gameplay is just all around extremely enjoyable it's super satisfying up next we have db this is obviously going to be a pretty common theme with bossing mules but once again this class doesn't need a lot of nodes it just needs one set of trios you need blade tempest you need blade tornado blades of destiny and you're pretty much good to go these five are what is going to carry you in bossing obviously you should be getting your bossing mules at 220 so you can unlock all the other node slots you get shadow walker last resort maple goddess blessing and get a bind in there as well if you want this class has extremely extremely low cooldowns when i mean extremely low cooldowns i mean extremely low cooldowns like 10 seconds 12 seconds this class is also one of those classes that's just extremely satisfying to play like using the burst using the fmas is it's just really fun especially when bossing 
the big burst is also only a 90 second cooldown so it's really good this class also has two iframes 2.5 iframes if you count asura's anger as one as well so pretty much you have final cut as an iframe you have chains of hell as an iframe and then asura's anger you can use to dodge fma attacks like like pap lasers or will cracks if you ever got to that level but it pretty much just dodges like one hit ko fma in bosses so this thing's really good as well once again just like shadower db skills have really high built-in ied which is so important when making a bossing mill. You want these skills to have IED. Like you don't want to have to invest a bunch of money into getting IED on your secondary, your weapon, your emblem, which is something you definitely don't have to worry about when playing DB since literally all the skills have like 100% IED. Again, this class doesn't need any inner ability. So you could just stick with whatever. You don't really have to put any money into this, which is always a plus. The training on this is kind of mid tier. It's not anything crazy. It's average. It's not really below average and it's definitely not above average yeah the fmas are cool to use but at the end of the day the training is is mid-tier to be honest it's not the best so if you, if you want a bossy mule that can train well as well as put out high damage output i wouldn't choose db it's definitely really good and it's really good as a low funding bossy mule but the training is all right it's mid it's not anything crazy but i don't think that should deter you away from making this as a bossy mule anyways that's gonna wrap up my top three low funded bossing mules again these were just off of classes that i've played obviously there's amazing classes like demon slayer wind archer marksman buccaneer all of those are also really good low funded bossing mules and again this is all just my personal opinion of what i think is the best for a low funded bossy mule hope you guys enjoyed today's video obviously if you guys have suggestions let me know down in the comments if i got something wrong in this video please don't hesitate to correct me and as always i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace